Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Today I'm super excited to share with you guys the unboxing and just a couple of features of the Mi Band 4. So this has been super hyped up over the past few days and everyone has just been trying to grab them but I managed to get my unit from like a, a third party seller and the guy is actually sending it to me right now uh, in the cab. So let me just head down, get the Mi Band 4 and show it to you guys right away. Standing here waiting for the driver to arrive with the uh, Mi Band 4. So I think I see the guy now, he's behind this taxi. Just there. Just there. Yep, I've got it guys. Alright guys, so now that we've got the package in hand, let's go through the unboxing really quick and show you guys just what's in the box. Alright guys, so there you have it. What's in the box is pretty simple. You get the Mi Band 4 itself, a charger, and a user manual that is completely in Chinese. Alright guys, so before using your Mi Band 4, uh, what you need to do is just set it up in the Mi Fit app itself. It is fairly easy to set up in the Mi Fit app and the instructions are very clear. It is all in English and you will definitely have no issues uh, following it. So let me just show you guys the Mi Fit app really quick. As you can see, I have my Mi Band here. Uh, already synced to the device. So if you go into band displays, uh, first things first, let's talk about the displays. You can have a, a lot of different kinds of faces. All these kind of faces uh, that is already uh, pre-installed. So all you need to do is maybe just tap the one that you prefer. So let's just try going with uh, a funny one. Let's see, uh, let's check out this uh, pig right here. So all I need to do is just click it and it will sync with the Mi Band 4. There you have it, new face. <laughs> can you guys see it here? Yeah, so you have this uh, face on your Mi Band 4 right away. Okay, so looking at more settings, uh, let me check here. So we have your incoming call alert. You have your event reminders, alarms, app alerts. So you can actually choose what kind of apps you want to get notifications for in the uh, app itself. So that's very good. You also have your idle alert. Uh, so this will basically give you alerts uh, if you're sitting down for too long and you can set it. So another thing more important is the heart rate detection. So a lot of you guys have been asking like uh, if there is automatic heart rate detection and the answer is yes, we can have automatic heart rate detection and sleep assistant both activated at the same time. If you guys get the Mi Band 4, don't forget to set up everything using the phone, your smartphone and once you're done with it, you can go on to use your Mi Band 4. Alright guys, so now that I showed you guys the uh, settings, I want to show you guys a bit more on the Mi Band 4 itself. So as you can see, we have a very strong lighting at the top here but the screen is still very much uh, very clear even under the strong lighting. So let me just show you guys the navigating on the Mi Band 4. So once you're in the home screen, all you need to do is just tap the home button. Uh, this is the home button here, you can see it's a little O right there. And to navigate, it's very simple, you just swipe up and you can see your different settings over here. So if you go all the way to the end, it will come back to the home page. So let's just go through each of them very quickly. So in status, here you have uh, your sports activities, your steps, distance and calories. So just a couple of information here for you guys to see. And if you just swipe left to go back, and here you have your heart rate. So I just did mine earlier on and it is 106 BPM. Nothing much to see here. So you swipe again to go back and let's check out the workout. So for workout, it currently supports a couple of modes. You have outdoor running, you have treadmill, cycling, walking, even uh, exercise like lifting and also pool swimming. So the Mi Band 4 currently supports up to 50 meters of uh, depth in terms of the swimming. And it's, some people say that you can even go diving. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but yeah, just uh, take their word for it. So moving back, we also have uh, the weather. So I've got mine set to Guangzhou right now. It detects automatically on your device, your smartphone device. And yeah, let me just uh, show you guys more. If you go down, you have your notifications. And yes, it does work with uh, English. No problems about that. So as you can see, I just sent uh, myself a text right there and this is the amount of text that you can fit in the screen. Of course, you can have a longer text but yeah, essentially you can see your messages uh, directly from the screen itself. So if you have like a lot of notifications coming in, it will just show you the last three ones. So let's just uh, clear all of this and done. So moving back, uh, you can go into your more and here you have your do not disturb. You have your alarm settings, your music, your stopwatch, your timer and you find your device. So these are all the stuff that you can do here. You also have your settings here and you can tweak the brightness of your Mi Band 4 if you want to do that. You also have your lock screen and just a couple of uh, information here. So basically, yeah, that's it about the uh, Mi Band 4. We have, once again, I want to say that we have this really nice uh, AMOLED screen here 
and it's very colorful and of course you have you can change this uh, screen into uh, various different faces um, those that are maybe more cuter if you want or maybe those that looks nicer and uh, overall I really like the Mi Band 4 everything feels just as good as it was on the Mi Band 3 and I don't think there'll be any issues with this but to charge up the Mi Band 4 all you need to do is uh, remove it from the band itself and now we have this new charging case before this you had to slide it in but for this you actually like uh, just put it in the case and just snap it like that and it starts charging almost immediately and when you want to remove it you just like yank it out so <laughs> I think this process is fairly easy but yeah you guys may I'm not sure if you prefer the previous way of just removing it by sliding it off or like trying to yank it out so anyways okay this is about it for the quick hands-on if you guys have any questions uh, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one bye